is biotech the wave of the future? We're about to find out. Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. And there's a lot of smart people right now at the International Biotechnical Convention. We're talking to three of them right now live, and let's find out what's happening there. Welcome. Hi, Con. Hey, Con. Nice Great to, to be, be here. With you. Well, Heather, we've got to start with you, <laughs> ladies you. first, right? But tell us about your title. You are an analyst at the Energy Bioscience Institute in California. Oh, I have the best job. So I get to look at all of the emerging technologies, uh, research within our institute. We have 60 projects and programs working on biofuels in all aspects, uh, feedstock production, conversion, and socioeconomic and environmental impact. And then I get to look beyond the institute to what's happening in the field in general and in industry and, and, all, and the trends, and uh, it's just the best. Well, that certainly sounds exciting. Paul, let's turn your attention to you. I read earlier that you're from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where I literally had the best pizza in the <laughs> world. But what else is there? Well, I'm the, currently the director of a large project funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. Um, we're called the Bioenergy Science Center, and we operate as a partnership uh, of about 18 different institutions, all focused on uh, scientific research designed to enable and improve our abilities to produce biofuels specifically from cellulosic biofuels uh, sources. And Jim, you help us read all about it. You're the editor and CEO of Biofuels Digest. Well, it's, you know, there's a lot of noise out there because of the, the pace of innovation is just amazing and the, the policy innovation, the science, the economics, are you know really strong so the the question is what does it all mean so that's what we get to uh, essay every day in the digest now Heather back to you I'm just curious what's leading the way in biofuels oh there are so many different things uh, if we look at feedstock development there are all kinds of new feedstocks coming online things that uh, that we can grow using marginal land that won't compete with food to make biofuel so that's very important um, and that we can do in, with environmental sustainability standards that are very high um, and in the conversion technology, we're really moving forward in making uh, total use of biomass in a very efficient way, and then making a variety of different types of molecules that can drop into the current fuel market. Well, Jim, I know you're down there for a conference. What has you most excited? Well, probably the, the, the thing that we're all very, very intrigued about is the um, incredible surge in interest in, first of all, the small retail investor in investing in these companies via the public, uh, the IPOs that have been happening. Uh, five companies have gone, have gone public in the last year, all uh, big IPO events. Uh, secondly, the emergence of the end user markets in the military markets, the aviation markets. Um, the users are really crying out for the fuels and starting to invest in order to build the capacity themselves since they've, they've not seen the oil industry in uh, uh, building the capacity, they're going to do it. Uh, British Airways and other companies are, are moving forward. So that's, um, that's a very interesting development, which we're tracking. Heather, I can sense you love the sciences. What advice would you give to anyone pursuing that career? Uh, I think my advice in general would be, whether it's science or not, to pursue something that you're passionate about, because that's what will really make you successful and happy in the long run. Are there any websites that our viewers can follow up on to learn more about biofuels? Sure, you can always track it uh, daily at, at uh, biofuelsdigest.com and doe.gov, Department of Energy, is an excellent resource for a variety of information about the field. Paul, in closing, how can we best support your efforts? Uh, I would say predominantly be aware uh, of the issues we face. In particular, um, for example, we talk a lot these days about ethanol um, and when, when we mean different sources of ethanol over and above uh, the, the traditional corn sources. What we're very much interested in doing and making great headway is in producing biofuels now from sources or crops that do not compete with food production. Um, and so staying aware and staying abreast of those developments will be an important contribution the public can make. Well, we thank all of you for the exciting work all of you do in the area of biofuels because it makes it better for all of us. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I can't wait to put some biofuels in my car. Mm. Go green, go fast. Hey, we'll be right back on Get Connected.